Well, I don't want to have kids unless I'm married. And if you don't want to marry me, why would I have a child? So why were you laying up having sex with this man for 13 years in your house? I had a sexual appetite that I wanted to please. Mm -hmm, with a lower level man. Correct. Could you get a, could you get a higher level one though? Of course. Absolutely. Could you get a higher level man to do more than just have sex with you? Yes. You could get a higher level man to marry you. Of course. I'm just not open to, re to relationships because I'm afraid. I feel like sometimes my... Stop. Stop. Me. Stop. 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 Do you listen to the bullshit that's coming out of your mouth? Because it, it should make <laughs> your breath sink. You actually said, you sat here and said that you could get a higher level man. You could get a higher level man to have more than sex with you. You get a higher level man to actually marry you. So you're trying to tell us that you openly accepted a lower level man. For what reason? <laughs> I mean, here's the deal. Like, hold on. Let, let's finish. Let's finish the video real quick. Actually, no, no, no. Let me go ahead and address this. A lot of women fuck and have sex with guys that are very below, quote unquote, below their sexual market value, whatever, stuff like that. Like, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but like, man. Growing up in high school, stuff like that, you would see girls be like, "Oh, I just you're just too good. I think you you you're more of like boyfriend material. I I want to take you seriously, so I'm just not gonna fuck you like that." And see, this is exactly where the the fuck boy thing comes from. They are literally boys you fuck, guys that you fuck, that girls will fuck without expecting any other kind of like investment of any kind. This is why, gentlemen, men, you have got to be aware of this. Of this, when women try to blank put out the shit like, "Oh, you're a fuck boy," take it as a compliment and don't fuck with her. Because if she's saying you're a fuck boy and she ain't fucking you, then you just it's just a waste of time. It really, is a waste of time. You shouldn't be talking to her. You shouldn't be messing with her. None of that. She's already made herself clear that she used to fuck dudes just like you a while ago. And those guys didn't have to put any kind of investment in. They probably just met each other at a party, met at a club, and then literally the next day they probably done fucked, smashed, whatever, and probably continued that at home. Probably came over, smoked a little weed, fucked, left, did that for a month straight, and then all of a sudden she's saying, damn, you know what? That was kind of nasty. I don't know if I feel like doing it anymore. I kind of want something a little bit more real. It's just casual sex. It just feels good. I didn't really have much feelings, but I was just horny. It's exactly the same situation that's going on with this right here, you guys. Like, there's no point in trying to fight that type of narrative. But uh, let's finish this video. Let's see what else is going on with this here. 45. How much does a 45-year-old make? About 150000 What does he do for a living? He's a skyscraper. Say again. Oh, man. Say again? He does what? I say he's a skyscraper. That's what I said. What does that mean? Well, let's just simplify it. He um, he puts elevators into buildings. You know, a skyscraper is a building. Well, that's the work he does, sir. That's what he considers himself. That's the, the job title that he gave, and that's what I'm giving you. And how long have you been seeing this man? Um... Some of these women are weird. I, it is so hard to believe. This And this is what I love about Kevin Samuels' channel, you guys, is that we are actually seeing women for who they kind of really are in the face of these questions. Like, they call in, like, some people be like, oh, these women, they calling in and they're, they're just... They're just calling in to get made fun of, to make the mockery. These women make themselves look silly. Like, he's a skyscraper? What? He installs elevators in skyscrapers? So, I guess he's, like, a construction worker? He's a skyscraper? What the fuck? That's like saying someone that does live videos is a, is a, is a webcam. Oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a webcam. What? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm a webcam. I, 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 that's my, that's my, that's my job title. I just saw you on YouTube doing a live the other day. No, I'm a webcam. 
You mean you're a YouTuber, right? I mean, you mean you you're a streamer, you're a content creator, right? A webcam is a is a thing that you use. And she's like, "Sir, I'm just giving it to you exactly how he told me." Yep, this is it. Mm-hmm. This is, this is yep. This is exactly it. Like goddamn, like what the fuck? <laughs> These women are weird. About six months. How many children does he have? Bro, she has the demeanor of a drill sergeant. Drop and give me twenty. What did I tell you? No extra rations after four. It's six oh one. I told you to wake up at six a.m. on the dot. Stat. Like, damn, shorty, why the fuck you look so stern? This girl used jaws her size. She be in that. I got a strong jaw. Fuck. Two. Has he been married before? No. But he has two kids. How many baby mamas? Two. <laughs> right, right. So he's a skyscraper. Two kids, my two different women, and you're in New York. Make it make hundred fifty. So oh. Well, okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. That's make that makes a little bit more sense, you guys. She's from New York. That's what it is, man. New York women, not all of them. Absolutely not all of them. I'm not saying that, but there's a lot of New York girls that you know they. You need to double check them draws. I'm telling you, shit. Just them, like. I get this, man. I like. I, I get it. I understand. You got like everyone has sexual urges. People express it differently. You. This is just the thing that a lot of men talk about, especially on this on the space. A lot of red pill content creators just trying to stay away from this topic because it's so hard to advertise it. It's it's, it's not easy to monetize this type of content. But at the end of the day, it's still a lot of truth behind this type of thing. And a lot of guys, why are why do you want to date? And really take seriously a woman over like 32 or some shit like that, you guys, because they have this mindset. I, why? There's nothing beneficial about you that you're going to do for me over 30, quote unquote. And the reason why I'm saying over 30 is because usually by 32, you've had your fun as a woman. You've done all these sorts of things. You've had so many relationships. And now you're trying to save yourself, quote unquote, for the right guy. Which, I mean, you can do what you want. It's not an issue. Like, please, women, by all means, do it. Go ahead. All we're saying is that as a guy, <laughs> we don't like that shit. I'm not going to fuck. I'm not going to take you seriously. What? More games are going to be played with you at that level because you have that mindset? Because you're trying to get a sucker. You're trying to get a sucker. You want me to pay a higher price for something, for, for someone that, for one, does not look like how they looked when they were 21. Two, probably 30, 40 pounds more than what they were at 21. Three, since you don't look as good, you're also putting higher demands on this product that you're, quote unquote, selling you. Four, five, or whatever. You probably got a tremendous amount of student loan debt. Yeah, you got your BA. Yeah, you got your master's degree. But... How much is your student loan debt? Okay, so if I marry you, you expecting me to pay for that? Help pay for that? Okay, if you don't want us to marry, if I get you pregnant, you're gonna put me on child support, and if that's gonna pay for your, that's that's what's gonna pay for. You. Come on, I'm not doing that. This this bullshit. This bullshit, man. I'm not like, come on, get out of here with this stuff, man. And this is where a lot of women have issues with this. It's like, oh, you can't talk about that. You hate women. You hate women for talking about that. You, oh, you're just so misogynistic. No, I'm just telling you my preferences. I'm just telling you my preferences. As women, if you don't, as 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 a woman, you have all the right in the world to say, oh, I don't want any any man under six feet. I don't want any man under five ten. I don't want any man under five six. I don't want a man that's over two hundred pounds. I don't want a man that's got, you know, I don't want a man. I want a man that has a hundred k. Well, guess what? I want a woman that's fit. Guess what? I want a woman that doesn't have $100,000 of student loan debt. Guess what? I want a woman that doesn't put this tremendous value on herself, right? And I, and when we say it like that, 
It's making it sound like, oh, you just want a woman that doesn't respect her body. You just want a woman that doesn't respect herself. No, I want a woman that respects herself enough to exercise, respects herself to make right and proper decisions. I want a woman that respects herself. These are the things that's not being said, you know? But I digress. I digress, right?